To most cats, catnip is like crack, but what is it that makes them go so nuts for it? And is it just cats who are affected by it? Hey guys, Tara here for D News, and those of you out there who own cats have probably at some point gone to the pet store and purchased catnip. They love it, right? At the time, you probably didn't give it much thought, but realize that every time you give your cat catnip, you're actually dosing them with a psychoactive drug. It's like weed for cats, basically. But how does it work? And why do cats go so crazy for this stuff? Well, the proper name for catnip is Nepeta cataria. It's part of the mint family, but it's special because the entire plant is coated in these tiny microscopic bulbs that contain a chemical called Nepeta lactone, which gets released whenever those bulbs rupture. And that chemical is what draws cats to the plant. When they inhale it, it binds to the receptors in their nose and stimulates neurons that lead to their brain, altering several key areas, including the hypothalamus, which is the part of the brain that regulates emotions. Essentially, it triggers a reaction that makes cats feel intoxicated and euphoric, similar to how humans feel when they take certain drugs. The key difference, though, is that all humans respond a little differently to various drugs, whereas cats have a fairly predictable and consistent response to catnip. When they smell it, they all react pretty much the same way. That said, there is a subset of the feline population that appears to be immune to the effects of catnip. It's estimated that around 20 to 30% of cats don't react to it at all, but the ones who do all react the same. There's basically no in-between. So it's theorized that this is some kind of genetic trait that gets passed down, which makes sense since a lot of wild cat breeds like lions and tigers are also affected by catnip. But what about humans? Can we feel the effects of it? Well, believe it or not, humans have been using catnip off and on for the past 400 years. In the 1600s, Europeans brewed tea with it, made juice out of it, and even smoked or chewed it, claiming that it produced a mild sedative effect. It was also believed to be a cure for colic in babies for a short time. As recently as the 1960s, though, some people even used it as a substitute for marijuana, saying that it caused hallucinations and euphoria, although scientists eventually debunked that. Their hypothesis was that it can't affect us as intensely as it does cats because our brains and olfactory systems, what we use to smell, are structured very differently. But that doesn't mean catnip doesn't have any benefits for humans. Also in the 1960s, researchers were able to find one clear-cut use of it as a mosquito repellent. Apparently, the active chemical in catnip also works as a natural repellent to mosquitoes and is actually more effective than DEET. The only problem is it wears off much more quickly. Still, you can totally find supplements online that contain catnip essence as well as others. So if you're one of those people who does not like using harsh chemicals, then you may want to give that a try. What do you guys think? Especially those of you out there with cats. Are they down with the nip or do they not care at all? You can let us know your answers in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.